let's talk about how to convert exponential functions into logarithmic functions. Before we start, we need to have a formula that's going to help us. n equals b to the p. That's our exponential formula. p equals log base b of n. And that's our exponential formula. If we look at that, b is your base. And n is just a number. And p is your power. That's all fine and good, but let's try one. I'm going to show you how it works. I know that 25 equals 5 to the second power. Now, if I look at that, my p is 2. That's my power. So 2 equals log. And the base is 5, because that's my base. And my number is 25. And that's pretty much how you're going to do those. Let's look at another one. Um, let's say I have 1 equals 8 to the 0. So once I get started, my power is actually 0. Log. And now my base is 8. And my number is 1. Let's look at a final one. This one's going to have a negative exponent to it. I know that 1, maybe I know that, 1 over 16 equals 2 to the negative 4. Now if I look, my power is negative 4 equals log. My base is 2. And then my number, if I look here, my number is 1 16th. And I just like to put a parenthesis around it to make sure it separates those. Now there's one thing you need to remember about when you're doing logs is that this number, your base, you always want it to be a little below the line because that tells me it's the base of the log. If I had written log 2, since this is on the same line, I'm assuming that's log base 10 and we don't want to do that. So remember, whenever you're writing your logs, to have this number um, a little below your line. And pretty much, that's all you have to do.